And we have more breaking news to tell you about this related to the mass shooting at the Tops in Buffalo. The alleged 19-year-old shooter has been indicted on 27 federal charges. A federal grand jury handed up the indictment against the suspect today. Those charges include 13 counts of using, carrying, and discharging a firearm in relation to the hate crimes, 10 counts of hate crimes resulting in death, three counts of hate crimes involving an attempt to kill other individuals, and one count alleging he attempted to kill additional black people in and around the store. Those charges carry a maximum sentence of life in prison or the death penalty. Now, today marks two months since that shooting claimed the lives of the 10 people in Buffalo. The store has been closed for renovations and repairs since then, but is due to reopen tomorrow. Ahead of that opening, officials gave us a tour of the renovated space. Christian Garzone was on that tour. He joins us now live from Jefferson Ave in Buffalo with more on what customers can expect going forward. Christian. Well, Adam, we took a tour of the store last hour. They are certainly ready for customers tomorrow morning. Uh, the decision to rebuild, uh, leaders said today, was to renew their commitment to this whole neighborhood to ensure people here have access to affordable, nutritious food. This is really the only proper full grocery store in this whole neighborhood. Now, TOPS has increased security inside and outside the store, added surveillance, more emergency exits, new lighting in the lot, and other measures to make sure what happened here in May does not happen again. There's also a memorial water wall at the entrance of the store to honor those who lost their lives here in the mass shooting. The president of TOPS, John Persons, says there has been tremendous resiliency the last two months here. By rebuilding, they are renewing their commitment to serve this community. This area, he says, needs TOPS again for access to food. Mayor Brown said this TOPS is a step up in terms of equity. He says the staff here and the rebuilding of this TOPS is uplifting to the whole neighborhood here. Attorney General Tish James, speaking with News 8, honored the lives lost, but also said this is a significant day for Buffalo. The power is, is uh, that this community, Buffalo, has overcome hate. Hate will not win, and hate has no place in Buffalo and or in upstate New York or anywhere in the state of New York. And so hate was defeated. Today is a great day. It's a bright day. The, the safety of our associates and the safety of our customers is absolutely paramount. So when, uh, before we, before we, uh, when we were in the planning stages, we wanted to make sure that we were looking at uh, as many safety features as we possibly can. So. Um, we designed, um, we implemented a number of different safety measures, including outside the store, very well lit. We improved lighting all around. We improved lighting inside the store, improved the sight lines. Uh, on top of that, we, um, we have uh, increased uh, professional uh, guard coverage, security coverage. And again, the tops is due to open tomorrow morning to the public. Live on Jefferson Ave in Buffalo, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam Teresa, right back to you in Rochester. All right, Christian, thank you for that. The tops on Jefferson Ave in Buffalo first opened in 2003.